Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna create a meta human morph target in Blender and bring it back in Unreal Engine using Mesh Morpher. So first of all you have to select your uh, meta human. In uh, our case uh, for this demo I'm using a Tore. Go to Tools and Export as uh, OBJ file, Export Mesh and go to Export as OBJ Watertight which is a welded mesh. Set uh, your uh, name. We will add original to the default name so we will know this is the base OBJ file and hit save. Now open Blender and in Blender import the OBJ file you just created. You have to set the forward axis to minus X and leave Y up as the up axis, right? Import. What I do when I sculpt in, uh, in Blender, I, uh, I used to join all these groups together so it's easier to sculpt, right? So I am selecting everything. And now I can go to object and hit join, control J. Now I have a, a single group with all the other groups joined together. It's easier to sculpt, right? Now I can go ahead to export it. And I'm going to overwrite it. And uh, don't forget to set the forward axis to minus X and uh, leave Y up as the up axis. close blender and now you can go ahead and duplicate this uh, obj file and you can rename it so you know this is the obj file you're gonna sculpt open blender again Go to File, Import, and select your morphed OBJ file. Don't forget to, to select the correct axis, which is minus X, and uh, minus X is forward axis and Y up, and hit Import OBJ. Now we can go ahead and sculpt our obj files so we can create our morph target right i'm gonna fast forward a little bit because uh i'm not very efficient in blender so it's gonna take a little bit right see ya Okay, now that we have uh, created our uh, morph target, we can go ahead and export it. We will overwrite our morphed OBJ file and we will set as forward axis minus X. Y up as usual, right? And export OBJ. Now we go back to Mesh Morpher and hit Tools and create from OBJ files. Select uh, the original obj file as base obj and your morphed obj file as morphed obj, right? So as you can see the files, uh, the obj meshes are uh, having a different uh, uh, orientation. They're facing a different direction than our skeletal mesh and we have to fix this, right? So we have to go uh, to rotation on X axis put 90 and on Y axis put 180. We will rotate it, right? Let's zoom a little bit so we see exactly what we're doing. Now that we have our, our OBJ uh, meshes uh, facing the correct uh, uh, direction, we have to set scale to X to minus one 
This way we will convert the OBJ files to Unreal Engine coordinate system. We can go ahead now to set a new morph name. We will uh, set Elf Warrior as a name and we will set uh, the threshold to a very very low number. 001 is fine. 00, zero yeah, it's fine. Uh, we, we, we can set this uh, low number because we exported this, uh, these OBJ files from uh, MeshMorpher so we have uh, kind of the same uh, vertex count and smooth iterations to zero for the same reason, right? Let's hit OK. And now we have our morph target created. We can go ahead and uh, test it. Open uh, your skeletal mesh, your metahuman. Go to morph target preview and set your uh, morph target to maximum value. Once you do that, you can see how it looks. Uh, to go even further with the testing, you can go to preview scene settings. Use specific animation as preview controller and set uh, the animation to Arkit Mapping Anim, right? And uh, now that uh, you've set that, you can test how the eyes look at different angles, different uh, rotations. Make sure everything is fine with the mouth, with the jaw. Basically, try to see if uh, your morph target is, uh, is uh, usable in your game or whatever you're creating, right? So I think this is it for this video. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, hit the thumbs up if you like the video. It, uh, it helps me uh, to know that uh, these uh, videos are useful so I can go ahead and make more. Uh, hit thumbs down if you didn't like the video so I'll know that as well. And uh, yeah, see you around guys. Bye.